الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد أي الحب تف الله truthfulness leads to righteousness and truthfulness is a part of righteousness and during the holy month of Ramadan we want to strive our best to have goodness and call to righteousness and have that be a part of the activities that are upon our tongues meaning our speech and we want to invite people to khair to goodness and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us to be a source of goodness and forgive us all of our many sins Ameen An Abdullah bin Mas'ud radiyallahu ta'ala anhu qala qala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam alaykum bi sidq fa inna sidqa yahdi ila al-birr wa inna al-birra yahdi ila al-jannah wa ma yazala ar-rajul يصدق ويتحرى الصدق حتى يكتب عند الله صديقا وإياكم الكذب فإن الكذب يهدي للفجور وإن الفجور يهدي للنار وما يزال رجل يكذب ويتحرى الكذب حتى يكتب عند الله كذابا Ruahu Bukhari wa Muslim. I have a tip in law. In the month of Ramadan and outside of the month of Ramadan, we want to strive to be truthful in our speech. And this is one of the things that gets many of us in trouble because a lot of times we want to defend our honor and we'll do anything to do it, even we will lie. Or we want to cover our sins, of course. So we will lie to do so and then follow after lie after lie and sin and sin until it's just a cycle may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us of our many sins ameen ya rabbil alameen in this hadith of the prophet alayhi salatu wasalam the hadith of abdullah bin mas'ud radiyallahu ta'ala anhu he said that the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wasalam said it's upon you or be truthful for verily truthfulness leads or guides to righteousness, to birr, as we said before. And verily, righteousness guides to Jannah. That's the path to Jannah. And a man will continue to be truthful and strive in truthfulness <coughs> until it is written in the law, until it is written with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he is truthful. Till the law writes him as truthful and considers him truthful. And beware of lying. For verily lying guides to wickedness or is a means to wickedness. And verily wickedness guides to the hellfire. It leads to the hellfire. And a man will continue to lie and strive in his lying. Continue in, in his lying and striving and making efforts to lie in everything that he does until he is written He is written uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has, has Written this person down as a liar and this is in Bukhari and Muslim we have to look to the athar of the salaf of this ummah to gain greater insight into this concept of bitter, of being righteous, and what it entails. And we mentioned already prior to this sitting that it entails everything good in your manners and the way you treat others. Ruyan uh, an Isa bin Maryam عليه الصلاة والسلام على نبينا صلى الله عليه وسلم البر ثلاثة المنطق والنظر والصمت فمن كان منطقه في غير ذكر فقد لغى ومن كان نظره في غير اعتبار فقد سهى 
ومن كان صمته في غير فكر فقد لها and this is uh, collected in Adab al-Dunya wa Deen Lil Marwardi Ahabati Billah it's not exactly clear the authenticity of this narration but just as a general narration that affirms many other narrations and hadith of the Prophet وسلم, as far as the meaning we can take benefit from it bi'idnillah but again its authenticity is not mentioned in this narration on the Salaf of this Ummah that it was narrated about Isa alayhi salatu wasalam, Jesus the son of Mary that uh, narrated by the, that the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said uh, that the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said about uh, Jesus alayhi salatu wasalam that he said righteousness is three speech or what you pronounce what you see another your sight and your sumpt being silent. He said, whoever, whosoever's uh, speech is not in the remembrance of Allah, then he has committed love, you know, wasteful speech. And whoever's look, whoever's sight, is without any purpose they're just looking then this person is forgetful and who's ever who's whosoever that their silence is without reflection then they're just a person who's distracted May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with ikhlas, with abad, with abad ala sunnah al Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and help us to be better slaves during this holy month of Ramadan and benefit from our fasting. Wa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ala Nabi Muhammad wa ala alayhi wa sallam.